Nickelback's lead singer Chad Kroger an upgrade for Avril Lavigne? Joining us to answer that question is Keith Caulfield, charts expert at Billboard magazine. Hi, Keith. Hello. So is this marriage, is, is Avril marrying down? I don't think so, and I, I'm not quite getting the whole like uh, Nickelback as a punching bag vibe that I think everyone has for some reason. Nickelback sold 22 million albums in the U.S., five top 10 albums on the Billboard 200 chart. Clearly, kind of an indication that they're a little popular, so I'm not quite sure why I see the shade that we're throwing at Chad and Apple right now. Okay, fair enough, but do you think that their union will um, benefit their careers in any way? Um, well. Chad and Avril met because they're working together. Well, actually, I'm not sure how they met exactly, but certainly their professional and personal relationship blossomed because he's working with her on her next studio album. So who knows what the sound will turn out to be. If she'll become a little bit more like Nickelback or maybe she'll be in a totally different direction thanks to Chad. We'll see. And we don't even know when the album's going to come out. I think people are saying that it might come out at the end of this year, but it really could be early 2013. Okay. And the number one question on everyone's mind, mm -hmm. who could have seen this relationship coming? I, I don't know. I think it, I really think it just dropped out of the sky, at least to the general public. I mean, for all we know, uh, Nickelback fans knew about this for months, but I think the general media doesn't pay attention to Nickelback very much, sad to say. So if it had been known, we certainly didn't know anything about it. So that's why it kind of hit everyone like out of the blue, completely as a surprise. Um, a very pleasant surprise and a very wonderful one for the happy couple. Yes, wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you at the wedding in Canada. Indeed, yes.